This man got angry and what did he do? He slapped this young man, a Muslim young man, a poor man, a common man. He slapped him on his face in the sanctuary of Haram. And he told, had it been in Haram, I would have killed you. And this man who was a Muslim, who did Hajj along with Umar he came sad, weeping, crying. He came to Amir al-Mu'mineen and he told Umar al Khattab, I was being slapped by the king, Jabal ibn Ayyam, who recently became a Muslim. He said, why? He called, uh, call me Jabal ibn Ayyam. And the king came, and it is Umar ibn Khattab He's not bothered with anyone, you know, he would take action, regardless of what ethnicity he belonged to. It doesn't matter with Umar He told, what did he do, Jabal He said, I slapped him. Why? He stepped on my dress. He stepped on my clothes. So, should he do that? He said, Umar ibn said, you know, there will be a revenge. A revenge has to be taken from you. Or you have to please, please this man, man. apologize, apologize this, man. this man, otherwise, otherwise I'll, I'll take, take revenge, revenge from, you. from you. How come, How come you take you revenge from me and the king, 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 king for an old, old man, man who was suqa? He used the word suqa. Suqa means people who work in the in the market, you know, a common layman. Are you revenge, you know, taking revenge for a common man from me, a person like me and the king? He said, Ya Jabala, in al Islam sawa bainakuma. Islam has made equal between you and him. There's no difference between you and him. Islam made it equal. وَلَا تَفْضُلُ عَلَى هَذَا إِلَّا بِتَقْوَى You're not going to be superior among, above this man except by piety, by the fear of Allah. If he is more fearing Allah, he's better than you. Islam make it equal. And I have to take revenge from you. Then he said, then I think I have to go back to Christianity. He was a Christian before. And Umar Allah threatened him. Whoever leaves his religion, Islam, after finding it the truth, after making a judgment to become a Muslim out of no compulsion, then going back out of Islam, then the Islamic ruling that he should be killed and returned. He said, you'll be killed for Riddha. Because you giving a wrong message because you came into Islam by your own choice. When you found Islam truth, because there is no compulsion in Islam. La ikraha fi deen. There is no compulsion in the matter of Islam. Since you chose to become a Muslim, and you going back out of Islam, then you are giving a wrong message. So Islamic viewpoint towards Riddha, you know, defaming Islam or blasphemy, is that the person may be killed by the ruler. So he said, then I have to think, give me time until tomorrow. He said, okay, you have time until tomorrow. The very night, Jabal ibn Ayham and his followers, they escaped to Medina. They escaped to Mecca. They sought refuge in Constantinople. He became Christian. He turned away from Islam. Why? Just for a slap. Just for a slap. And Jabal ibn Ayham, he spent all his life in Constantinople, crying and uh, regretting. And he... You know, had it been that my mother didn't give birth to me, and had that raja'atu ila qawli amir al mu'mineen Umar, and had I just listened to the word of Umar radiallahu ta'ala, and oh, what mistake I have done, I was afraid of a slab, then I, then I came off, and I came out of a truth, and I became a Christian just in fear of a slab. He used to sing. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't give him guidance because he went out of Islam. Why? Just for arrogance. He thought I'm superior. As the people of Thamud, they thought we are superior than this man, the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So guidance can be taken out of you for many reasons. There was a, a poet, his name was Asha ibn Qais. Asha ibn Qais. He came from Najd, from the city of Riyadh, which is now, you know, Najd or Yamama, which is closer to Riyadh of today. He was a great part of Islam. Uh, he was, sorry, great part of Jahli period, the pre-Islamic time. So when he wanted to become Muslim, he was heading to Medina to see Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam declare his Islam. Um, he sang really beautiful songs. 
praising Rasulullah and uh, thinking about Akhirah, the life here after death, and all sort of things. When he was coming, you know, across to Medina, some disbelievers stopped him. He told Aisha, where are you heading to? I'm going to become a Muslim. You're going to become a Muslim? And that was really a sad news for the disbelievers of Medina because they knew that once one point, Hassan ibn Thabit anhu, became a Muslim, it was a great headache for them. So they thought if, Jabba, if, if Aisha ibn Qais is also becoming Muslim, you know, you know, it's going to be a really, really sad news for them. They told, don't do that. Your religion and your ancestors' religion is better than this Islam. He said, no, Islam is better. So uh, he told Aisha, they told him, don't you know that Islam forbids adultery, zina, committing, you know, um, um, uh, adultery or zina is, uh, is haram in Islam. He told, I'm an old man, I'm, I'm in my 80s, I, don't, I have no urge towards zina or adultery, I don't want that, that's fine with me. He told Aisha, don't you, don't you know that? This Nabi, this Prophet has forbidden drinking of alcoholic drinks. So that's fine. I feel it really okay because, you know, drinking, you know, alcoholic drinks is madhabatun lil aql. That will take away your consciousness. And madhillatun lil rajul. It's a shame for a young man to drink. Look at the jahili viewpoint. He thinks it's really bad for a man to drink because he's exposing you, sick and you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're going to act out. So he said, that's fine, I'm happy with that. And they thought, well, how can we lure him? Jabala, one moment, think for a moment, we will give you 100 camels. If you go back to uh, Tihad, to Yamama, and, and, and you uh, renounce your Islam. 100 camels? That's fine. This man was lured by wealth. 100 camels. He said, that's fine, I'm happy. I will go back to Yamama. Um, I will remain on my uh, previous religion. 100 camels. Poor him. Unlucky man. He took this 100 camels from the disbelievers of Medina. He headed towards Najd. What happened? Before he reached his place, he fell over from over his camel and broke his neck and he died instantly. He didn't even he didn't benefit, even benefit that, that, in, um, in, um, that hundred that camels. camels. He became he a Muslim. Uh, he, he was he about was to be about becoming to be Muslim, 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 and he and yet, yet turned, turned away. away. Just for, Just for he, he, he was lured by the wealth. Well, well, well. Some people are losing their hidayah because of women. Allah says, if you're not able to purify yourselves, Allah will take away the hidayah from you. Um, uh, Ibn al-Jawzi, rahmahullah, he narrated the story in his book, Al-Muntalim. He mentioned that Muslims have seized a castle that belonged to Romans. They seized it for many days, you know, they, um, uh, they were there for many days so that the Romans could not come out of it and Muslims were uh, about to win that battle until there came a lady, she opened the window and popped through and she was amazingly beautiful. And there was a young man among the Muslims, he looked at her and he was really amazed at her beauty and his name was Ibn Abdul Rahim. Ibn Abdul Rahim, poor man, he lost his Islam because of a woman. And he said, how can I get to you? She said, become a Christian and come back to me. I'm going to marry you. And he wanted to marry her. A moment. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, Ask the believing men and women that they should lower their gaze. But one sight maybe take them away from Islam. A woman, somebody is known Muslim, can take you out of Islam. Or even if she's Muslim, can take you to haram. One sight, one look, one contact. Adding someone to your friends can be really, really dangerous. Taking you to haram. And this man, Ibn Abdul Rahim, he looked at her and said, how can I get, get to you? She said, you know, become a Christian and come back to me. And they were Christians. And he became a Christian. He wore the cross. And went to her. He, he renounced Islam. He became a Christian. And he stayed with them. And after many days, Muslims withdrawn, had withdrawn from that seas because they could not win over that castle. 
And after many time, many years, um, one of the group of Muslims were passing by this castle. They asked the people, do you know a man named Ibn Abdul Rahim? What did he do? They said, we know him. Where is he? He's right there and they called and he, and he popped through the window. He had married that beautiful young girl and he lost his Islam. He lost his Jannah. Jannatun arduha samawatu wal ard. He lost his hurul ayn that Allah made him ready. If he was a, a Muslim, he lost the eternal happiness just for the beauty of a woman that may perish after a few years. He lost everything and he threw all his religion behind just for the sake of beauty. And they told he's there. And he came through and his friends were looking at him. Ya Ibn Abdul Rahim. Ma fa'ala Qur'anuka wa salatuk. What, what did he do with your Qur'an and your prayers? Wa ma fa'ala ilmuk. What benefit to your knowledge? He said, I forgot everything from Qur'an. He was a half of Qur'an. Imagine. He was a half of Qur'an. He said, Unsi to kulli al-Qur'an. I have forgotten all that in Qur'an. Except one ayah from Surah Al-Hijr. Except one ayah. This is a miracle of Quran. This is a miracle of Quran that Allah made him forget every other thing except one ayah in Surah Al Hijr. He said, I just remember one ayah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rubama yabdu al-ladin kafaru law kanu muslimin. Rubama yabdu al-ladin kafaru law kanu muslimin. At some point on the day of judgment. The disbelievers will wish had we been Muslims. The non-Muslims will wish on that day had we been Muslims. It's talking about this man. He threw out his Islam because of a woman. People who got Islam, they threw it away because of arrogance, because of money, because of a girl, because of someone's beauty, they threw it away.